my name is Sam. Welcome to my garage and uh, welcome to uh, a new YouTube channel to document the restoration of the vehicle behind me. Uh, this is a 1931 Ford Model A and um, this is a project that I began with my father-in-law. Um, this is actually in fact his car uh, and I approached him earlier this year uh, and asked him if it would be okay if I began restoring this car uh, and he said yes so uh, we kind of began this kind of in the beginning of the year uh, but with everything happening in the world right now uh, I found myself uh, with some free time and so I thought hey why not start a YouTube channel uh, so here we are um, I thought this would be a good idea, um, one, for being able to document um, our progress on the car, uh, and then second, to share that experience with uh, other people who may be doing a body off restoration of any particular car, uh, not necessarily just a Ford Model A. Um, there are some things about Ford Model A's that are very particular to that um, style of car, uh, but there are some things that are universal, so um, hopefully you, anybody who stumbles upon this can take some value from it and apply it to whatever project that they're working on. Um, so we'll see where this goes. Um, this channel probably won't have regular video uploads. Um, this, is, this is a hobby of mine. Um, and. Uh, this is this car, while precious and important, um, is not a uh, priority really. Um, there are lots of other things happening in in my life that that take priority. So, as we do work to this car and as we do updates to it, I'll try and do my best to document those and share them with whoever is interested. Um, and we'll just see where it goes. Uh, hopefully. Um, if it gets a following, that's great. Uh, if not, so be it, and uh, we can. It'll be something that we can reference back to um, when we want to to reminisce about rebuilding this car. Um, <clears throat> some uh, brief history of this vehicle. Um, Zooming out a little bit. Like I said, this is a. Um, this is a Ford Model A, uh, a 1931. It's a deluxe coupe model, um, so it had a couple other uh, factory options that were not standard. Um, this particular car, um, well, let me back. This car is being rebuilt for the purpose um, of potentially being. Um, the getaway vehicle of my fiance and I's um, wedding. Uh, we are still planning that wedding. Um, when I asked permission for her hand in marriage, I also, uh, at the same time, asked permission to restore this car. Um, my father-in-law probably doesn't have any any qualms about why I particularly did that. I'm pretty sure he knows exactly why. Um, but so be it. Um, we're doing this restoration um, as a result of um, this car being in a wreck uh, in its life. Um, it is a wreck that took the lives of my father-in-law's parents. Uh, and so because of that, it is in need of extensive restoration. Um, at the beginning of this year, I bought this frame. Uh, this is a new frame, well, it's new to us. Uh, this is a frame from a 1929 Ford Model A, um, and it's in great shape. Uh, I was able to find it locally. Uh, this engine is original. Uh, it is from the original um, deluxe coupe um, that was wrecked. Uh, this engine was on a running stand during the time of that wreck. Um, my father-in-law's father was running a a B motor uh, in that car when it was wrecked so this was safe in a garage and that occurred uh, and it runs great 
runs really well, and we're very fortunate for that. So here we are. Um, let me kind of give you a, a run through of kind of what's here and what we're doing. Um, because of that accident, we're going to try and take as many precautions and uh, with safety in mind as we put this back together. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, Model A's um, are all mechanical. There are no hydraulics. There's no hydraulic brakes. There's no hydraulic clutch system. And uh, everything is done by a spring or a lever or a pulley or uh, some fulcrum of power. Um, <clears throat> the, when I bought this frame, this frame came with this bell housing and a transmission. The transmission, uh, that came with this frame was pretty rusty and crusty. Um, so I pulled that thing apart and I pulled the transmission from the original car and it, uh, had a crack in its casing. I took the gears from the original car and stuffed them uh, inside the casing from the transmission that came with this frame uh, and put all new gaskets and um, put it all back together and it, and it runs great. So, uh, we also swapped the rear end. This is the rear end from the original car. It's in good shape. Uh, there, isn't, um, there isn't any indication that it was damaged during the wreck. Um, that may be true, uh, at least from an initial inspection kind of standpoint, that seems to be true. And, um, so far that's really about it. Um, this is kind of a crude running stand, um, just with kind of some preliminary wiring to, uh, get the, get the engine to run. Um, this PVC pipe is kind of a makeshift radiator. Uh, the radiator that we have for this car is currently being worked on, so um, uh, we're still waiting on that. <clears throat> Other things kind of moving forward uh, on this car, going through all the brakes, um, the kingpins need to be replaced, uh, and the bushings need to be replaced, the brakes need to go be gone through, the bearings need to be repacked, um, and we'll just take it step by step. Um, so yeah, we're excited. Um, this garage that we're sitting in is uh, also built at the late turn of the century. This garage was built in 1930. It's not anything spectacular, um, but it's got a bench grinder and a vise and some benches and some hand tools. So, And if you have pretty much those three things, you should be able to uh, rebuild one of these cars. Um, Probably the next thing that I'll try and upload is a video of um, video of a steering box that I'm currently rebuilding. Uh, I pulled the steering box from pulled the steering box from the original car um, and took it apart and cleaned it up and uh, it was in good shape. So. Uh, the steering column did have a crack in it, so I might try my hand at welding. I've never welded before, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but stick along for the ride. Um, there's uh, lots of other great channels uh, for automotive stuff if you're looking. Um, Eric the Car Guy has a great channel. Um, he does great how-tos, uh, especially if you have a uh, Japanese car of a Honda or Acura type variety. Um, he also has another channel, ETCG1, um, which is more of a discussion-based uh, channel for automotive-type topics. Uh, Haggerty. Uh, Haggerty Insurance is a great um, YouTube presence with their red line uh, up updates. Uh, Davin over there does great how-to videos um, for kind of basics of car repair. Uh, anybody who's getting into... Auto mechanics um, should definitely check out Haggerty. They've got some great videos. Um, and then, of course, Jay Leno's Garage. Uh, anybody who just likes to oodle over cool old cars, uh, that's a great place to start. So, sorry if the video cuts a little bit. I can only record 10 minutes at a time, and it does. I, my camera doesn't indicate to me when when my time is almost up. So.
uh, go ahead and check out those channels. Uh, they're great resources uh, for anybody doing car repair kind of stuff. Um, and if you like this, uh, subscribe, uh, hit the thumbs up, spread it around to all your friends and family. Um, and uh, hopefully this is a good resource and uh, we can kind of provide um, kind of a kind of a lack of information that I that seems to be on YouTube as far as Model A Fords go. Um, there are some videos uh, and some people who do up updates and um, kind of how to's um, but mm, not very comprehensive ones and um, I'd like to I'd like to try and continue the the heritage of um, of the Ford Model A, and uh, hopefully there's people my age who who can see value and appreciate them and and want to rebuild them, um, whether original or hot rod, um, whatever suits their fancy. So, um, real quick, um, for anybody who is interested in restoring a Ford Model A, um, I would highly suggest finding yourselves one of these. Uh, this is the Model A Ford Mechanics Handbook by Les Andrews. This I think was published a number of years ago. I think you can still find it on Amazon. Don't quote me on that. Um, but this is basically the, the best, the next best thing to a shop diagram that could have came from Ford. Um, these are these are renowned for being good resources um, and good uh, instructions on how to rebuild and refurbish certain aspects of this car. So, with that, uh, I will leave you be, and uh, hopefully you guys will uh, come back for the next video, and we'll keep you updated when that happens. Thanks. Thank you.